In this question, we're told that magnesium has the symbol Mg and we're asked to find the molar mass of magnesium. So in the question so far, the question has told you the molar mass of the element or compound in question. In this question, we're going to figure that out ourselves. So let's go to our reference sheet to look at our periodic table. And let's find magnesium. Here's magnesium. So looking at our square here, the number in the bottom, 24.31, that is our relative atomic mass. So that's the number that we're going to use to figure out the mass of one mole of that element. So our molar mass of magnesium is 24.31 grams per mole, according to our periodic table. And for this question, that's all we need to do, because it's just asking for the molar mass of magnesium. So since magnesium is the only thing here, that's our answer. So 24.31 grams per mole. So we found out that 24.3 grams of magnesium is in one mole of magnesium. In this question, we have cyclobutane, which has the formula C4H6. And again, we're going to be calculating the molar mass. But this one's a little bit more complicated because we have multiple different elements here. We have C, which is carbon, and H, which is hydrogen. So let's have a look on our product table. Here's carbon and here's hydrogen. So we can see carbon has a relative atomic mass or a molar mass of 12.01 and hydrogen has a relative atomic mass or molar mass of 1.01. .01. So we can fill those out. Carbon was 12.01 Hydrogen was 1.01. .01. Okay, so there's our molar mass of these elements individually. So if we had just carbon or just hydrogen, this would be their molar mass. However, we have C4H8. So we have four atoms of carbon and eight atoms of hydrogen in one molecule of this compound. So the total molar mass of carbon in this compound is going to be four sets of 12.01 .01 grams per mole. And the total mass of hydrogen is going to be eight sets of 1.01 .01 grams per mole. So when we multiply those together, we're gonna to end up with 48.0 grams per mole of carbon in our compound and 8.08 .08 grams per mole of hydrogen in our compound. Now to find the total molar mass, we need to add together the molar mass from all the carbon and the molar mass from all the hydrogen in the compound. So I'm going to add together these things and I'm going to end up with 56.08 grams per mole. So let's check that in our answer box. 56.08 grams per mole. Awesome. So you can see here, finding the molar mass is fairly straightforward. We just need to go to the periodic table, find our elements that are in our compound, and then add up as many of each element as we have and make sure we take account for all of those when we're adding up our total molar mass.